Are you a content creator? Do you have a YouTube channel? Want to monetize, promote, and protect your channel from intellectual property theft? At a forever, we will monetize, optimize, and protect your channel, helping you earn better. We also offer you professional content management support guidance. Join our network today and enjoy our premium benefits. Contact us at mcnataforever.com. three times as follows. Is there any present that has a general reason why this couple should not be pronounced husband and wife? Let him or her speak out or forever hold his or her peace. Um, if no one speaks out, is that when I bring out the ring, kiss the bride and fix the ring on her finger? Um, yes. But the question is, are you sure no one will speak out? Of course, I have nothing to hide. Are you sure? Hey, come on, do you think I have it? Most importantly, do not forget the ring. Forget the ring? <laughs> how can we do a thing like that? Forget the ring. It's not a question of how can I do a thing like this, brother Michael. Look, I have wedded a number of couples, in which case the, the groom forgot their rings. And they have to make do with those of their best men. Very <laughs> so in a time like this, I used to advise the bride to buy a spare so that they could come to the rescue of the groom in a time like that. That's good. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you. See you next week. Thank you very much. Sir. Yes. Thank you. yes. God bless you. Bless you. Yeah. I went to your office. Uh, they said you dropped a message that you'll be here. So okay. I decided to come and show you the new sample. Oh, it's a nice one. Can I take a look at this? Uh, this is beautiful. This is much, much better. I think yeah, I like it. I, yeah, I think I prefer this to the other one. Yeah. I approve of this. Okay. Uh, Michael, I'll be going to the village. I will see you when I come back. Let me know how far you are going. Um, uh, please, in that case, uh, take one bundle with you, okay? Uh, please make sure you don't give it to anybody, not even my mother, until I say so. Please don't give them out, because we're actually making out a list. It has to be strictly by invitation. It's done. Okay. Let me keep this one with me. Okay? All right. Take it Stop taking it. What is it? Angel. Do you know for over six months now, what happened here? He will come back now. This is not his baby. Nah. Ah, baby, he will come back. But hell, you know. Yeah? You are very lucky. Now, your baby doesn't cry at all. <laughs> this one is God sent. It's really God sent, honestly. Unlike that, my man gets his last daughter. That girl can't cry. 
There is no day I pass there, you know, here. Eh, eh. Ah. Now what? This one tries you. Christ, but that's when this one doesn't, I bet. It does. But that's when it's over. Nah. Yes. It's about time, so let me go in and see. I'm sorry, I'm coming out. Okay. I'm here. Okay. Fine, boy. Angela, Angela. Ah, ah. Maurice, what brings you here? I came for an error. And it's Helen now. Yes, she is. Please give this card to her. Someone asked me to bring it to her. What is it? Wedding card, of course. Who is wedding? I don't know. I'm only sharing the card. Okay, no problem. I will. Greet her for me, okay? Bye bye. Eh? Thank you. Said I will not. Eh? Have you forgotten the names and insults your daughter gave to me when I was warning her against her relationship with that stupid boy called called Michael? Have you forgotten? Will you shut up your mouth? Shut up your mouth. That's how you spoil her in the first instance. Eh? Look at her with an abandoned child. A, a big disgrace to the entire family. Eh? You know that. Ever since my husband, your brother, died, you have become the head of our family because they are not. Now you want to bring me out at the middle of the road and abandon me there? Yeah? If my brother, your late husband, was alive, he would have screamed that daughter of yours alive. I need you to step into this matter. How can they just get her pregnant and then run off to go marry somebody else? Abandoning her here with the child, doing nothing, because they are not. I think they have succeeded. 
Hey, I've forgotten that you and your daughter told me to be minding my business. And that is exactly what I want to start doing from now. I will mind my business. Go and mind your own business. I am not When the thing is so difficult like this, you come and say, Go and mind your business. Let me mind my own. Go and mind your business. Hey, Chipo. Nanyak. Hey. Michael is playing the fool. Does not mean you should fill your life with bitterness. <laughs> eh? What life? I said I want life. From my heart, I do not fill my heart. Fill up my soul. My life. Michael, why? 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 Heli, <laughs> you have to forget about the past. Hmm? And think of the future. Your baby. Nabugo. What do you want him to do now? What do you want him to do? Hmm? Where is he?
I do with the knife? Not to be elevated to such a great position, sir. Thank you, sir. Um, I also want to thank you for the house gifts, and the car gifts you give to us. We appreciate, sir. Thank you. Just make sure you take care of my daughter. She's very, very special to me. All right, sir. I'll do that, sir.
this will never happen in this community. It will never ever happen in this community. This is what you and your entire children is not for. How dare you insult her? And if he insults you, what can you do? Are you asking me? Yes, kill me, yeah, man. Are you telling me? No, come and touch her. No, come and touch her, kill me, what? Come and touch her. My rapier. Look at I'm disappointed in you. So this is how you want to develop this delicate issue. No, you have shaved your hair with the thunder. Mom. Eh? I don't blame you. What rubbish. Let me tell you something, Abby. Your son will never attend that wedding. What will happen to him? Will you kill him? You witch. It is you and your wife that are witches. Obiego, I will expose you. You are a wizard. It is that imbecile daughter of yours that has exposed the entire kindred, you bloody idiot. Let me tell you, you can say whatever you like, I don't care. What about your son? Be warned, you have not heard the last of us. I can assure you of that. Let us go. Obiako, I have made my point, just to be prepared. I forget them. Leave them. Have you seen what my girl has caused? My Have you seen it? My Please, my kid did not even tell me his mother anything about it. Please. Shut up your mouth. You are lying. I am telling you the truth. I know you will not believe me. Michael did not tell me anything about that word. Please. Be good. My I needed you now. You know that my kid does not listen to another person than you. Ah, and you are bigger. Do you ever listen to me? No, nah, that is why I say we should not sit and watch your little brother son get married without telling anybody in his kindred. No. So it is now you know that my kid has broken our tradition. My kid does not know anything about our tradition. But his son knows the tradition of jumping from one woman to the other. Getting some of them pregnant. Are we going to fold our hands and watch the goat give birth to listen? Abigail, did your son tell you he's getting married? No, no, nah, he didn't. Then go inside and wait until he does. No, nah, maybe it skipped his mind. Don't be an idiot woman. A man as old as Michael wants to get married, but Forgets to inform his mother, not even when he is sharing the wedding cards. That is why I say that we should go to the city and find out what is going on online. No. My answer is no. Michael has insulted me enough. No. Please, no, don't do this. Be I have said no. No, please now. This Michael is stupid.
when you can form such expensive blood for ordinary but yet he never comes home to take care of his friends except the next notice. Oh my good afternoon. You're welcome. Man, quite a surprise visit. Surprise indeed. You're welcome. I'm fine. Oh, it is. Uh, Mama, my friend. Um, sorry, um, it is the lady I intend to marry. It is my mom. My uncle. Mama, you're welcome. You're welcome, uncle. Um, actually, I was on my way out. But, um, it's all right. Nikki, could you ask Lucy to get them something to eat and then make the guest room? Oh, darn. <laughs> okay. Mama, I, I have to excuse myself. You know the wedding is soon and we still have so much to do. I know we need to have a mother-daughter uh, talk, but we'll do that as soon as I get back. All right? Excuse me. Honey, I was... Uh, Lucy? Lucy? Yes, ma'am. Please come. Please take their shoes to uh, the door. Yes. How are you with you? I'll ask you some what you got back. I'll be welcome. understand these things. It's not just, I mean, just understand. My life today is just Edith's father. This is why you deceived us into believing that Helen's child is not yours. 
You don't know the problem you caused between my family and Lukachi's family. Oh, Mama, we settle all. Shut up! You know he's against life that we are talking about. And yes, son! I have no son of For the last time, I am not responsible for any spiders. You can go on lying. Go on lying like a child. Abigail, I am going. Your son has no cause. And no respect. Mike. Mama, are you going like that? Mama, come back now. You can't leave that gas. Mama, Mama, where are you going? Uncle? Uncle, I don't want you to just come back and stay. My God, the only thing that will make me to come into this, this house again is only when you agree to come to the village to settle the crisis with Elena Happy. And the only way to settle it is for you to go down on your knees and apologize to Ellen and her parents. Yes. Uncle, how can I apologize? When I was leaving the village, Ellen never told me she was pregnant. Were you not the person that promised her to wait for you in the village that you come back to marry her? Were you not? Today you will accept. Tomorrow you will deny. But, but why is it difficult for, for the both of you to understand my position? Why? Because, Michael, you have no. Michael, Michael, I want you to come to the village to settle the crisis with Ellen. Will you come to the village or not? I will not. You will not. My future belongs here. No, nah, you fed him. But Mama, you people go in. something to eat. Why don't we um, drive out to
Tell me. Friend, are you mad? Are you crazy? Michael, what happened? What's all this? Didn't I tell you not to share those cards until I say so? But I didn't share any card. Stop lying. How did my parents get to know about it? For goodness sake, a lady I am trying to hide this whole thing from has just gotten a hold of it. I'll tell you. Why did you share those cards with her? I only gave it to somebody to give to my cousin Morris to since he knows the village terrain more than I do. Morris! Did, did, did you say Morris? I said Morris. Have you forgotten that I am Morris for a us back in the village? Huh? Michael, I'm very sorry. I I I assure you it will never happen again. Please. I, I, in fact, you can't see what you've done to me. But I tell you one thing. It is not over yet. I promise you one thing. Whatever comes out of this whole mess, I will not leave you out. It hasn't gotten to this, Michael. Get out of my house. Get out! What do you mean if I'm sure? Ah, Helen, you know how rumors travel and circulate, especially when it comes to matters like this. I saw them with my own eyes. But when I visited the village six months ago, you told me Michael accepted responsibility for your child and will be coming down for your traditional marriage. It changed. Hmm. For that six months, he stopped replying my letters. No communication, everything is ceased. I don't know. <laughs> I am not surprised. I used to pass by his office on my way to work. I greeted him once and he pretended not to know me. Is this all about money? <laughs> I don't know what to do. Go. I have now become a disgrace to my family. Well, Michael, the man that put me through everything, is getting ready to marry another woman. Michael will pay. He will pay, I swear. Listen, listen, Helen. Don't go doing anything stupid, okay? He will pay for the shame he brought upon me and my entire family. He will. Helen, no matter what happens, Michael is still the father of your child. I believe we can always find a way of making him see business with you. Okay? Ha! Huh. Okay, okay. Don't worry. Tomorrow I'll go to his office and I'll talk to him. Okay? Just relax. Ha! Huh. Where is uh, Nabugo? He's sleeping. Okay. Have you eaten? I told you to relax. Eh? I'm so tired. A 
Akuna and Dobi Amaka. I'm greeting both of you. Welcome. Are you coming from the market? I'm greeting. Are you people pretending as if I'm not existing? Do you exist? Do you exist? I mean, let me ask you. Do you actually exist? What brought about this question? How would you know? How would you know? When all you and your son do is to mess people's life up for them. Honey, Jima, what brought about all this talk? Ah, you should be ashamed of yourself. Look at what your son did to Helen, your own friend's daughter. And you promised to. You people promised to pay Helen's bride price, even in Michael's presence. You promised. Now, just look at that poor girl. It will never be well with you. And that son of yours, heaven will judge both of you. You people should have asked of my own side of the story before judging. Which side of the story? We all know the truth. What do we have to bother ourselves asking about the side of the story? We all know the truth. Anyway, let that your stupid Michael come into this village and see what will happen to him. But the quality of paper you gave me last time is low quality and I, 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 I must say I'm really, really disappointed. No, 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 please. Um, okay, come on back. Sir, yes. there's a lady here to see you. Um, what's her name? I hope it's not Helen. No, she said her name is Felicia. Felicia? Yes, sir. Okay, um, we'll let her come in. Okay, sir. Yeah, Felicia, please sit down. Do you give Helen my house address? Oh, now you remember me. This is not a game, Felicia. And that is exactly the point Helen is trying to make. For God's sake, you are the one playing games here. I want her off my back. Hmm. Unfortunately, you can never run away from your own flesh and blood. That child is not mine. Oh, yeah? Well, don't fool yourself. Helen was pregnant for you before you left the village and you know it. Enough. Look, Felicia, please listen. I am at a very important and crucial stage in my life. And I need you to step in and talk to Helen. No, you talk to her yourself. Helen made the mistake of trusting you in the first place. Anyway, I only came to inform you that she is in my house. So, when are you coming to see her? What? See her for what? She needs to be taken care of. Take this. Give it to her, let her go back to the village and take care of herself. I will see her there later, okay? Come on, take it! Well, that is left for Helen to decide. Um, she's, she's a mad woman. 
she's she's a woman i used to dash money uh, along the road you know by the junction I, I used to give her money because i have sympathy because of her child she's carrying and ever since she keeps referring to me as her husband Mr. Husband, could you please tell your wife to leave the way so we can drive out? Okay, um, let me just give her some money so she can leave us alone. Please. Huh? Watch <laughs> Come on, for road. You want to miss the side? Come on, Papa. Don't worry, okay? I'll take care of it. It's going. Hey, come. Come, come. What is wrong with you? You gave the police your money to give to me. What was it for? to tell you that I'll see you in the village. You're trying to buy me off. Look, tell him, stop proving stubborn. I'd like to see you later today at Felicia's place, okay? No way, my girl. No way. We'll talk about it here yeah, and now. You lied to me. You ruined me. I've known your own flesh and blood. Okay, I love you. What's going on? Oh, honey. Don't worry, she's still leave. She's about to leave. I love you. Okay? Just don't prove stubborn again. Take this money. Take care of the baby. Okay? I'll see you later to the answer. Just please. Take it. Take! Okay. Sorry, okay. What does she want? Ah. You know this mad I told her my real wife is here and she kept screaming. My husband, my husband, <laughs> my husband. Come on, let's go. You can go now. Go, go, sit down. You're sorry. You have a sore and you did not let me know. 
And all you can say is that you're sorry. Listen, I'm sure that child is not mine. They, they're only trying to blackmail me. Oh, shut up. This is not just about my No, no, no. Don't let your father hear this, okay? I'll take care of all this. I promise. I will handle it, okay? Nothing will ever happen again, okay? Please. Get your hands off me. Don't you tell me, bastard. You will look at an English. Tell me, please. Wherever you go, whatever you do, I just want you to have one thing on your mind. I love you. There's no comparing how I feel for you. Believe me. You're such a generous liar. And I hate you for that. <laughs> Honestly, sir, I wasn't, I wasn't unfaithful to your daughter. Then what do you call it? What do you call it if not infidelity? Why didn't you tell me or my daughter about your daughter's identity? Why? But that's not to say I'm hiding anything from her. Why did you lie to me? Why did you tell my daughter that she was a mad woman? Why? Sir, I, I, was, uh, I was trying to handle things myself. So, uh, before I bring it to your daughter's knowledge. After I would have finished exploiting her, right? No! Sir, I, I love your daughter. What do you know about love? Well, sir, I I met Helen a long time before I knew your daughter. You don't deserve my daughter at all. You don't. Sir, 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 sir please. please I, I need you to understand these things. It's... Listen to me, Michael. I am relieving you of the post you hold in my company. No, sir. Sir, the child is not even mine, sir. Honestly. I swear to God! That's your business. Now go and sort this mess out before you lose everything. Get out. Sir, this thing is not what the way you think. I mean, Michael, sir. get out. Just, just look at me as a son and. Doesn't mean anything to me. 
I love you, Edith. I mean, you're the woman I want to spend the rest of my life with. Your father is mad at me. I don't see any reason why he should deny me his kindness. Please need you to talk to him.
Relationship, all we mean to each other. I mean, all the plans, all the wedding plans, everything. Can't you see? Think, think. I am not going to leave my father's house because of some insignificant village towns. Mickey, I give you four hours. Okay. If I come back to this house and those villagers are still there, there's no telling what will follow. I, I, I promise. I promise. But make sure you don't tell your daddy, okay? I beg of you, eh? Please, eh? Baby, baby. I'm ready for anything. I'm ready. But 
come to think of it, what if you succeed in forcing Helen on Michael? How would they leave? As far as the same humiliation and heartache he gave me goes back to him, I am satisfied. Mama, this thing has gone far enough and it's gotten to a point. I put my foot down. Put your foot down for what? I want like to see where you want to put your foot. Hey, did I ask you to get pregnant for me? Did I? You ought to be ashamed of yourself for using that as a, as a defense, you coward! Yes, I am psycho. I'm a coward. Okay? But I want you, your mother, and that baby to just get out of my house now. We are going nowhere. Helen and your baby are going with you wherever you go to. Do you understand me? And let me warn you that wedding will never take place. I'm begging you. I'm begging you to be reasonable, okay? Just reason with these things and, and, and let's resolve it. I'll give you anything you want. Just anything. Um, I should reason with you. I should reason with you. After all, you push me to. I go to hell! Why do you people want to ruin my life and happiness? What about her own life and happiness? Eh? Why are you people making things difficult for me Why, when there are better ways to resolve crisis? <sighs> Let me tell you, this is only the beginning and there shall be no end until you apologize to my daughter and marry her as you promised. Rubbish. Look, Helen, you are the child. All of you go inside and eat. Whatever you see, eat. Relax. This is your home. Poor oh, auntie, can't we just resolve oh. this thing? My friend, go and help her out. This is madness. Look, hey! Hey, hey! Hey! Another man. You know now. I can't continue to search. Uh, I'm not getting any younger. I know. But your time is surely come. My time is now. And I would not allow those low lives to take it from me. Edith, have you forgotten that she has a child for Michael? Have you forgotten that? Vicky says that child is not his. And you believed him. Come on, Edith. Don't be a fool now. Don't be a fool. Have you told your father about this? He said I shouldn't tell my dad. What? Are you stupid? You better go and tell your daddy so I you know what to do about it. Huh? Before it's too late. You don't have to shout. Uh, I know I'm not shouting. I have to tell you as a friend. Okay, I've heard. I've heard. You better do something about it. Just look at you. <gasps> Give you anything you want. Name it. Michael, it's you I want. You and our child living together like you always told me. But things have changed, Helen. It's you that changed, Michael. Have you forgotten the good times we shared together? At the village farm. The stream. Under the trees. The little room back at your parents' house. Before I got pregnant and we left. Maybe it was all a mistake. 
this thing. <laughs> the only mistake I see here is you bringing in another woman between us and our child. <laughs> Sit down. See, see, Edith and I have come a long way. We've come too far. Maybe you and I are not meant to be. Maybe. Why are you telling me you loved me? You always tell me that whenever you want to sleep with me. Maybe that's what your love is all about. Oh, but I'll, I'll give you enough money. I mean, to get an apartment, start a good business, any type of business, any kind of business you want. Okay? Just choose your choice. Like what happens to our child? Who will he be when he grows up? I want all of you out of this house. No. We are not going there. I said I want all of you out of this house. Now! Oga, who are you? We are not leaving this house. This is my daughter and son-in-law's house. Your <laughs> son-in-law. I own this house and I want all of you. I'm sorry, sir. I'll explain what just happened. Explain what? Out, all of you. Throw them out. I set my eyes on you. I always knew you were too smooth to be true. 
You wormed your way into my daughter just to exploit her. Now I know who you really are. Saint Michael. Leave my house now. Sir, please, I beg of you. I'm in a I said, I leave me. my house now. I love her. She loves me too. Now, throw him out. Sir, I have a relationship with your daughter. Oh, Excuse oh. me. Oh. Excuse oh. me. Oh. me. I only told my daddy what happened. I didn't ask him to throw him out. Why are you so bothered? After all, he got what he deserved. Idris. You don't seem to understand. Idris, Michael means the whole world to me. I love him and I cannot afford to miss him. I have to look for him. Edith. Oh. Excuse me, madam. What is that you dropped this? Can I just drop them with those ones there over there? Hmm. Did it. Have you checked for him in his office? At least someone there might know his way about. Okay? That's not a bad idea. I think I should do that immediately. You try day. and give me the feedback when you're done. Well, thank you. So Take care much. of yourself, eh? Thank you. Alright, bye. I have searched everywhere for you. Where have you been? Your father threw me out of the house, so I moved into a hotel. And you didn't even think of getting in touch with me. Michael, that girl and her mother are tearing us apart and you're letting them. But Edith, I'm doing my best. Your best? For God's sake, get a lawyer, get a court injunction and stop them from coming anywhere near you. Oh God, I would have loved to do that. It's not that easy. Why? What's so difficult about it? Don't forget, we are from the same village. So? What am I going to say? Who cares? Listen, it's our wedding we are talking about here. Who are they to stop our wedding? I need time, okay? I just, I just need time to sort these things out. See, I, I, I want to make them a very juicy offer, and I know they won't refuse it. Go and do that at once. You have very little or no time. I think I just do that right away. Let's go. Um, I got a taxi. Uh, Mickey, I'll just take it easy on yourself. Be careful. Everything is going to be all right. I hope so. I pray so. So, this is where the stupid wretch that wants to ruin my happiness hides out. Well, I'm not going to sit and watch her destroy my chance of being happy in life. Helen, you have to take this offer I'm making you. I think it's the best for you and your child. No, Mike. I will not let you break. But it's, it's the best you can get, Ellie. Do you know the pains I went through having a baby before marriage? Nah, I never forced you. You lied to me. Why can you deceive me to trust in you? <sighs> um, offering to send you and your child to London to start a new life. 
a new life without a husband. What man would propose to me knowing I'm a single mother? Tell me. What? Think about the offer I made. I refuse, Michael. I refuse. We used to be happy together. I used to be your angel. because of the mess you have gotten yourself into. Have you talked to your father? My father is so upset, he doesn't want to hear you.
This gun was recently fired. Yes, uh, actually my husband just bought it for protection against animals and I tested it. Also. Can I see the license of this gun? Can I see the license of this gun? Civilians are not allowed to carry guns. Officer, we, we can work this out, you understand? I have 15,000 in the car and I'm just going to give it to you. Please don't bother yourself, madam. Don't bother. Inside the car, you accompany me I'll to the station. I I'll say, get inside the car, you accompany me to the station. Oh. Madam, oh. get inside the car. Opera! Take this one. Wait! Move, move this car! Would you stop shouting? I said, car. move this, this car! Now. Thing is because you don't know Madam, I'm moving it! I'm moving it! Madam! Oh! 
Helene. I just, I don't know how to start. I, I don't know what to say. Now I know that true love is worth much more than treasures. Helen, I'm sorry. Helen, please, I'm sorry for everything I've done against you and our child. Helen, Helen, please talk to me. Look, Helen, I promise to make it up to you and our child. I promise to write all the wrongs. Make a new place for me. It's, it's, it's mad today. It's divine. You stole my heart. 